Hello once again, this is James. Welcome back to my Microsoft Word videos. And we are continuing with shapes. This time around we are going to look at how we draw curves. Uh, still, we are going to work with shapes found in the Insert tab. So I will go to Insert, Illustrations, then I go to shapes. Uh, we are going to try out this first curve here. Let's zoom in. So I'm going to try out this one here. So I'll go to my shapes and get a line. Now to draw a straight line, you hold shift as you draw. So I'll drop my line. Uh, it's blue, I might want it in black. So I'll come to my shape outline. Say it's a bit thick, so I'll come and choose something kind of thicker. Right. Now I also need to draw a horizontal line. So I'll go back to my insert, shapes, then I get the line. Point in the selection point, hold shift, then draw across. I'll still come back, give it a black outline and give it some weight. I think this is what I used. Still a bit small. So weight changes the color, the size of the line. And there we are, we have our first sketch of the curve. Uh, we notice that here the arrows, so how do you put these arrows? I can click here, go back to the drawing tools, that context toolbar, then I will come to shape outline still. Then I will come to arrows. So I believe this is the one which will. Uh, if you choose the first one, it will put the arrow down there. But we don't want that. So we shall to go back to our arrows. Then we choose this. And for this one, we will choose. Uh, not been highlighted. Shape outline still arrows, and you choose an arrow going this side. So we are getting there. Now we need this curved line coming off from center of the the curve. So I'll go back to my insert shapes. Then somewhere I think I have an arc. The arc will work as my uh, curve. So I'll click on it, then I come and try to draw. Uh, we notice that it's looking the other way, but no worries. And this color is different. So the color, we can go to shape outline, and we change it to that deep red. Uh, we can give it some weight also. Uh, I think that's enough. Now to make it look quite the same way it looks here, we can use these rotation arrows. So you notice how you hold and drag counterclockwise or clockwise depending on where you want it to go. So notice that it's changing in size then I can bring I'm dragging it down okay then you can use this white fellas to try and adjust the angle you see it adjusting okay too much. Let's take it back a bit. And I can try to make it a bit bigger. So basically we th think we have our angle. To move it easily and slowly you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. 
to move it in the direction you want close to the circle since you may not be able to do it very clear with the mouse so the arrow keys as you see the mouse is away I'm using the arrow keys to try and move it closer to where you want it to be right I uh, think that makes it quite okay uh, you have to maintain a stick ratio it's, it's quite small compared to this one so you can still uh, try to make it big don't uh, overdo it like I've done it might cause problems to the work so there I'll try to still take it back all right now um, you might want to adjust this a little bit like that it's not too much you can drag it back and this okay so now our shape is almost done remember I'm using shapes and follow along wow. now the axis are labeled this is V this is I this is 0 this is A um, we are still going to make use of the services of the text box and the grouping so to put our V we shall come back to insert go to text box so we shall go down and we say draw text box we shall draw our text box inside it we put our V it's a bit small we can go back home and try to make it a little bit appropriate in size uh, let's say maybe 18 remember if you don't remove the color from it you see what it does if you put it somewhere it might cover your work so uh, we are supposed to take away the shape fill we we'll come to fill and uh, the drawing tools then we say no fill though we still have this lining around it so to take away the lining still drawing tools then we say no outline so our V is now uh, proper Okay. Uh, we still need the services of the text box to put this zero down here and this I and the A so just to demonstrate it one more time of course you can just copy this and change the word but for illustration purposes uh, let's go back to insert text box uh, text box and you draw text box so uh, this time around I need it here I text box uh, what do I need in it I need an I in it capital I matter of fact say so we made this other one size 18 for clarity purposes Uh, remember if you don't take away the if you put it there it will cover the work for example so we have to take off the fill and the outline so we we'll go to shape fill say no fill and again shape fill no outline so now even if you move your eye closer won't have any effect so I'm not going to go back to draw the next text box I'm simply going to copy this one 
leak away then paste it will bring it and I come down here and change this to zero okay I click away I right click and now I control V to paste and I'll say this is A so there my curve is almost done but remember uh, if I try to move one element of this curve other elements won't move for example you see this so last time we looked at grouping let us revisit it again most of your shapes which you want to combine together you will have to uh, group them otherwise they might be hard for you to move like if I try to move this it moves as one single entity you see that but if I try to move one of these the others don't move so what do I do I'll go back to uh, I'll have to highlight these objects hold control highlight this highlight this highlight this uh, highlight I highlight my text boxes um, and this other one and this then the curve you have to hold control as you highlight them you notice that to highlight them you have to see that white arrow shaped pointer and it becomes tricky when you are highlighting the text box sometimes if you don't see the white arrow shaped pointer you may instead select the character inside the text box so when you see that you click you see that now it has taken out everything so I need to do my highlights again so I'll do that uh, oh. so I do that hold control notice that plus sign which follows that means you want to add on the selection to the previous selection Okay. So now let me first try to group this because it may, it may take you a while when they are mixed up like that. So I'll come to group. So now when you try to move it. Uh, there is a problem some elements are not grouped you see our eye is not grouped that is the issue I was trying to tell you about in case you don't group your work so now we have to also highlight this eye and add on to the grouping which we've done already So after holding it, I click this. So you can group even after the first grouping. It's not a, and you can ungroup too. In case you wanted to edit a single item on the many items grouped. So I group again. So when I come back and highlight this time, everything moves as an entity. You see that? So that is how we do the graph. So thanks once again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.